Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Passing Money. You know who we are. These people that way. Uh, Alex, this should be a short video. Should be, but may, may not be. Um, okay. This this is a question I got for you. And for everybody, uh, we try not to uh, like give each other a heads up most of the time on the video. We just go back and forth and just come up with a topic. So we don't have much time to plan when we're saying this. So on this one. So, Alex, give me your pet peeve on what you believe um what do you believe wealth is or how to create wealth versus the people around you believe what creating wealth is or the time frame to create wealth is okay my pet peeve with people on how to create wealth is two ways i see the way of the people that are ambitious but they're not disciplined and they want it right now immediately and then the second way is the people that have no ambition have no discipline and they just think it's sheer luck you just get rich because you're lucky and you're probably evil okay uh those are my biggest pet peeves because it yeah you're evil <laughs> Yeah. Um, so, so those are my biggest pet peeves that is what i see um i think out of the two the worst for me is the ones that are ambitious without discipline because it's like they're right there they have the right ambition but they have no discipline to actually be applicable to what they want and i think i get more mad at them then they're mad at themselves like i think it, it it's like so i i try to get to a point to like not even care like okay they're just they don't want it as bad or whatever um because there's just no patience in that you know they they think that oh if you invest in the eight percent ten percent return investments that you're just a boomer and that's boring and they just want to pump crypto or pump tesla and it's like it, it, yeah there's a chance of that working but that's no different than playing the lottery and you know it's like you have to actually take the time you have to do what you don't want to do in order to get the life and results that you want and it's like i mean watching webinars isn't fun but it's educational and it leads to results because you can apply the information uh you know studying companies is not fun it's boring but uh it's necessary in order to select the right investments for your portfolio and understand what you're investing in trading and so forth uh, so those are my biggest pet peeves as far as those kinds of individuals but what are you good ones? Um, go ahead. I didn't hear you. Sorry. Oh, I was just saying, what are your, uh, or do you even want me to ask you that? What are you, Kirby's got all the No, questions. you should <laughs> you shouldn't even ask me. But um evil, evil, I love that one. I love that one. Yeah. Matter of fact, uh, I hope people think I'm evil after I get down with this. Uh <laughs> And I'm I'm calling out family members on this. Family members and friends. Um, the truth is, the thing that my number one pet peeve is they don't understand how money works. They believe because you get a job and you get paid for the job you do, you know how money works. They have no clue on how money works. How money works. Not how you work for money. How money works. Exactly. Um, yeah. Then what I mean by that, and I'll just give you an example. I was in a group text and family member told me I was evil because I raised the rent. But they don't factor in the fact that the cost of everything when tenants break something or uh, repairs need to be made, property taxes get increased, insurance increases. They don't factor that those costs go up also. So the re the way to the reason why the rent is being raised is to cover those expenses. 
you don't get into the game of real estate to pay for somebody else to live. You get in the game of real estate because you want them to pay for your debt obligation, your maintenance costs, and everything else, and also put money in your pocket. If the game, name of the game was, hey, buy houses and let people stay in them, and then you just pay for them to stay in them, then I would open up a charity. I didn't open up a charity. I'll never open up a charity. Well, I'll take that back. I might. But um, but that's that's one thing. They don't have a clue on how money is made at all. The other thing is people think success is this. People think success is a flip. You buy something for 100, you sell something for 200. They think success or wealth is like this, meaning that, oh, one day I'm broke. Oh, I'm going to start investing. Tomorrow I should see a million dollars in my account. But you can look at, you can even look at the symbol that's behind you right there for the passive money channel. Or you can look at any stock market symbol or anything like this. There is no straight line to anything. Not crypto, none of this stuff that they try to push. Not Pokemon, not uh, EFTs, not what whatever, what other crap is out there. Success is not a straight line. Stress, success is sometimes you're going up, sometimes you're going down, sometimes you're going up. But the long-term pattern is getting there. It's not going to be a straight line getting there. It's going to be a lot of headaches and headwinds in the way. But if you stay dedicated, stay motivated, and stay on point, you will get to success. But most people, they don't want that. They want the instant gratification. They want to say, oh, I opened up a Robin Hood account today. Where's my million dollars at? <laughs> these people, these people will say investing in stocks is risky, but they will go spend $20, $30 a day on lotto tickets and scratch ups. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. But then these are the same people who blow the money at the clubs, blow the money at the casinos, blow the money at the lottery machines, blow their money everywhere else that gets mad at the people that stay on the road to success for the long haul. They thinking, oh, well, yeah, let's keep taxing the rich. And the, the whole time, nobody ain't realized since Carter was in office, they've been yelling, tax the rich. And the only people that's been getting taxed more, hurt more, is the people that's in the middle of class and poor with taxes. Because if you understand what wealth is, it's something that can't be taxed. What can be taxed? Rich can be taxed. Cash can be taxed. Active income can be taxed. But if you study the tax code, wealth, passive income, and things of that nature is not taxed. So they can keep going on this rodeo and they can keep being ignorant to the game. But those are the two things that just pisses me off every time I talk to somebody about what wealth is. They think it's a quick flip or they don't want to be in the game or they just don't understand how money works. That's just the craziest thing on the earth to me. And then they try to tell me how money works when they got $2 in their bank account. They want to tell me money don't buy happiness about the things that make you happy, but they never had the money even see what it's like. They want to come in the comment section and talk about their outlier situation because they counsel some people in church one day that had mental illness and they want to speak for the whole community. I'm going to say that everybody, family, friends, and those comments in the comment section, y'all out of y'all damn mind. So if I mean, let me be mean. But I'm going to be mean going on the road to success and not sitting here on the soapbox trying to convince y'all that, uh, yeah, let's stay broke because that's what God wants us to do. Hell out of here. That's all I got, Alex. I liked when you said people that go to work and collect the paycheck think that they know about money, but they don't. Because one thing people don't realize is like, as you know, in entrepreneurship, working for like knowledge or working not to get paid is like 
can lead to the biggest returns. And it's insane how that works. But society has set people up to think that they must get an immediate active return because they did some work. And, you know, I've seen, I mean, my whole, um, the whole duration of my time of doing this, of, of investing, the most returns I've seen is from doing work that I was not paid for because it led to I mean, me. Let, Go ahead. Not to cut you off, but Alex, how many times we sit there on a Saturday and watch eight hour webinars from lawyers, investors, real estate guys. <laughs> yeah. We just sit there and watch them for eight yeah. hours. Yeah. Every weekend. I know. Nothing to pay for. Amount, right. And the amount of knowledge that came out of that, like, like because it's like when it's crazy because like when you know something, even if it's about law and taxes, it's not so much like, okay, now you have to be your own accountant and you have to be your own lawyer. It's like, no, now you're informed. Now you know who to bring into your circle and know if they're bullshitting you or not and how to build your right. circle and show them what, you know, what direction you're going in, whether it's business, whether it's real estate, whatever it is. And those things are important and especially paying people for for their time paying people for their value most people they just they don't they, they want to get a discount they want to get a you know but we're friends we're family just pay the people like you will see the long-term return you know in your life if if you just stick with them and pay them for what they're actually useful for not not try to squeeze every penny because you, you'll never have people in your circle and yeah there, there's so many i could i mean we could go on this for like hours but there's so many so many ways people miss uh you know miss that about money miss they they don't understand how money really works that being said, before Alex get on the soapbox again, we're going to cut this video short. <laughs> so y'all have a good one. Let me we'll stop. see you in the next video. <laughs> we'll see you in the next video. Comment in the comment section. And if you think Kirby's mean, that's fine. But comment in the comment section anyway. We love to have it. And for everybody that uh, want to tell me how money works and you don't have no money, comment in the comment section. I have time to reply. Trust me, I always have time to reply. So if you want to look crazy, I'm here to give it to you. So you have a good one. We'll see you in the next video. See you guys.